And now, the night before Christmas, this would be a good time for the Muslims to go to the bathroom. <laughs> Twas the night before Christmas, and all the Jews are at the movies. <laughs> or eating Chinese food. <laughs> I'm just trying to include everybody. <laughs> twas, hold it, what? Who the hell says twas? <laughs> it's in the story. It's old and stupid. It's tradition, tis it? <laughs> twas the night before Christmas and all through the house. Why is it always a house? What, there's kids who live in apartments? How does Santa Claus get to the kids in the apartments, Uncle Jeffy? <laughs> They have to buzz his ass in. <laughs> uh -uh. Santa Claus. <laughs> and all through the apartments, not a creature was stirring. Except for the ass and two B. They're drunk and hitting each other with menorahs. <laughs> Oy they. That's Jewish for holy <laughs> Nothing Nothing funnier than throwing in a couple of holy <laughs> in the middle of the night before Christmas, huh? Not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. Mouse, you wish, you're in an apartment, that's a rat. <laughs> the stockings were hung by the chimney with care, and believe me, the room could use some fresh air. <laughs> Seriously, how the hell did that tradition start? What, hanging up dirty laundry, hoping Santa would fill it with goodies? <laughs> I'd like to suck on this candy cane, but it smells like dad's feet. <laughs> Good thing the tradition wasn't jock straps. <laughs> Sally, what's in yours? Nuts. <laughs> and mommy says they're magically delicious. <laughs> Ruining this story. Well, you're the pervert eating out of your own jock strap. <laughs> Isn't this the part where the kids are sleeping with sugar plums dancing in their heads? Yeah. What does that mean? I think they're hallucinating. <laughs> These apartment children are on drugs. <laughs> Santa's going to bring me a GI Joe and a bong. <laughs> and Daddy wants a ho ho ho. <laughs> It's Daddy and the Three Hoes. <laughs> With Mama in her kerchief and I in my cap, had just settled down for a big snort of the crack. <laughs> oh, Guitar Guy, you're in the story too. <laughs> well, you have to get to the part where Santa gets busted for breaking and entering. Where the hell is that? It's not breaking and entering. Oh, keep reading. I think it qualifies. <laughs> As I drew in my head and was turning around, down the chimney, St. Nicholas came with a bound. He fell down. Yes. And doesn't it say his face was all red? Yeah. Why does no one ever see this? He is drunk off his ass. <laughs> this is a horrible, horrible story. He was dressed all in fur from his head to his foot, and his clothes were all tarnished with ashes and soot. That, drinking and driving, in a furry gay outfit, covered in soot, he's smoking, and you let him in the house because he said he had something for your kids. <laughs> kind of father are you anyway? If I were you, I'd check his ID, then taser his fat ass. 
And how fat is this guy anyway? Everyone always leaves him a plate full of cookies. I think he's a diabetic too, don't you think? <laughs> you gotta leave him a plate full of insulin. How about that? <laughs> Can't wait to hear this story next year. The night before Christmas, part two. Santa's on dialysis and he's missing a leg. <laughs> And all his little dollies have poliosis. <laughs> Can I finish this story? Oh, please do. <sighs> he sprang to his sleigh, to his team gave a whistle. Gotta go quick, cause there's a cop with a pistol. <laughs> but I heard him exclaim, Harry drove out of sight. Merry Christmas to all. Oh crap, I ran over your bike. <laughs> you guys have been a great audience. Thanks for coming out.